Big fatty kings, queens and everything in between. Welcome back to another episode of Antics with Ash. And today we have my baby, Joe Bags. Woo! I came from next door. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was literally recording next door. We were like, mama, come on the pub. I know, honestly, I was like, fine, get me a coffee and I'm in. In I'm it? In. What is this? An iced coffee? It's iced Americano with honey. Let me taste. It's, it's absolutely horrible. That's my inside right now. <laughs> and nutritious Ew. <laughs> that is hell but it's really skinny it's just water and coffee yeah, yeah Bella yeah. Hadid but my insides are not right yeah fair fair not mine right. haven't been for years <laughs> not That's since that ski trip it, don't We'll get on to that. Yeah. Um, how's life? what's yeah, going on? good good what's going on? Um, I have a man I know <laughs> who is in the room with us right now yeah, by the way, behind the camera hi baby hi baby <laughs> um, and then yeah what else going on busy obviously the, you know. the bags family yeah. is the mo is the modern day Kardashians yeah. I'll tell you it's that much it's hard being the Chris but, um, yeah it is it's, it's knackering but yeah we launched our family YouTube yesterday um, right tell us about this okay so the idea is that every couple of weeks we launch a video where someone comes around the house for a roast dinner right so um, we've got some pre-records going on at the minute and then we'd love to have you in as well in the I'd new year I'd love um, to come come around eat some turkey and have a laugh basically and we play a game called Trust Issue. Okay. So, like, someone gets a card that says they've got a secret challenge, and then you have to do it during the meal. So, like, in the oh, first episode, but like almost like a, a like it could be really left. Yeah. Are yeah. you like tell my dad he looks shit today? Like and something then, like, really got nasty. A, right. The <gasps> first one was really nice. It was like drop ten song titles into a convo. So I thought it, might, it came to me. That's quite funny. So I thought I'm going to say like I want a tattoo, and then I name like loads of song titles. Right. So right. Like, right. But um, yeah, no, it's can. That's a really hard one. I'd be really shit at that. Yeah, I know. I. I think you'd be quite good. Do you think? Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that Yeah, so it's all going well. Yeah. Um, pod's going well. It's mm -hmm. just busy time of the year, isn't it? Yeah. How do you feel about, like, because I always think this about you. I'm like, how on earth do you liaise the entire Bags family and then carry it on your back? How do I liaise? <laughs> so we have a family you, group I chat. I don't. <laughs> we just family, argue. It's more like family group chat situ. Yeah. And then I have situations with them where it's so hard because mum's like I don't want to be told I want to be asked and I'm like no I do do that but it has to be sometimes like right. you are doing this ad today yeah you are cut, like you, you, you know, do the can can now I'm like, but I think they trust me enough now to know that if I'm saying like please do this it's yeah. kind of like it, it will it will work yeah um, but it's a lot sometimes and it's like loads of different personalities and George and I've got his girlfriends so yeah like, off to New York next week we've got a shoot on the day right and like, it's a lot so many cooks in the kitchen it is, it's giving like Kim on a private jet like sorry I can't make the shit yeah. mama like, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 it's very that but also I'm like even to try and persuade my dad to be in a TikTok with yeah. me is honestly sends me six feet under yeah, it's, it's, it's so difficult stand here do that and they're like actually inept oh, uh, with, with certain things you I know? tried to film that you know that um, because it's iconic yes I love yes. It. it took me what 10 minutes of mum it's yeah, a five yeah. second sound yeah that's what I mean she's also had a bottle of rose at her birthday yeah. I was sat there like <laughs> I couldn't bear it I couldn't bear it oh no I've completely given up on my dad and lip sync yeah. there's no way <laughs> as in he's he's honestly it's, it's homophobic at this point that's how bad it is like he can't do anything he's just like this do you know what my dad does it might really help him what? my dad speaks it rather than miming so my dad would be yes, like and because it's it. iconic <laughs> and I love to do iconic shit and I'm like <laughs> Phil Mitchell in the house <laughs> literally um, yeah that might help oh maybe I'll tell him to do that yeah. to be fair that does help I do that sometimes, sometimes even to lip sync properly Agreed, agreed, agreed. No, 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 it's hell. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just feel like where did, because I didn't really know you in your Gogglebox era days. Fine, yeah, yeah. Right, so I always just know you as the family that does content together, blah, yeah. blah, because that's when I started hanging out with you yeah, and going to events stuff with you and that's how, mm -hmm. and it all started from there and the rest is history. <laughs> but like, was this always the plan? <sighs> Um, like what? Like no. whose idea was Gogglebox? No, it actually who's... wasn't. No, no, it wasn't always the plan. The plan was that when 
I was making TikToks for fun and then right. I used to, so I used to edit, like no one really knows this, I used to do freelance work and edit people's travel videos and stuff when I had my Shut full-time up. job, just for fun. I liked editing, I love editing. Right. Um, I actually wanted to be like a producer when I was younger, that, that, that type of thing. So then when I- What? Do, yeah, I know. Me, me, the fellas, you got a job going. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it all. Editor um, extraordinaire. <laughs> so then I did my recruitment job, was doing the editing and then I did um, TikToks over lockdown because I was bored. Right. I liked the idea of like filming everyone and like mm-hmm. editing it and like making it like a reality show type of right. thing. Right. So then that blew up. Then we got asked to go on Gogglebox, but I, we all still work full time. Oh, so you got asked to go on Gogglebox. From it wasn't like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. that wasn't like you just applied for Gogglebox and it ended yeah. up happening. I would never have thought of it. Yeah. So. Really? We did watch it, but I never would have thought. And then um, I thought the girl was joking. So I had searched her name up and she was a real person. And it was that or Family Fortunes. And I was like, <laughs> we can't, guys. You lot on Family Fortunes would have been I know. That, that, that. So like, yeah, it was a lot. So then we did that. And then once we started to like be on TV properly, mm. get the airtime, and mm. then the TikTok was going well, it got mm. to a point where I was like, oh, like, could we do something? From right. This? And then we saw the Malone's, uh, is it Tom Malone Jr. like leave and then go and he oh, was doing well. Yeah. I was like, oh, like a young person coming off the show, like it is possible. And then. hundred uh, percent. It gives you like a hot, that proper TV platform, which yeah. I feel like all of us who only have started on, on the TikTok world. <laughs> the t- on, on the TikTok. On, on the TikTok. <laughs> But all of us who started in that like social media yeah. world, it's that everyone's trying to get into the TV space. But you were like, yeah. Mama, I'm I here. Said, I'm gonna. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna. I'm you were already there. Missy Elliott thing literally. where she does it backwards, and I thought I can't even flip it and reverse it today. Oh no, it's no, been a no, long no, one. no, no, that's too <laughs> much. It's too far into it's December too... for all that. <laughs> <laughs> too, too far in. Um, Agreed. But yeah, so then it was our last series and I thought, do you know what? We got everything we could out of mm. this. But I thought, let's go see what happens. And then a lot of it at the start, like as you know, was a lot mm. of me and George. Right. And then it was a lot of us doing, like navigating it together. And then I think we've gotten to the point now where we've noticed that we're all so different. Mm. So what I wanted to do is have a hub where we're all together, like the Bad right. Family channel. And then you all do your own yeah, stuff so separately. It's like Gogglebox, it's like the Kardashians. You all come together yeah. for this one thing and then in your own right, you all do your own thing yeah because I feel like because otherwise you try and be the same person and it doesn't yeah, work you like why if so, if people love that form of content and we yeah. love doing it why like move that away agree to do your agreed. own thing because yeah. I feel like yeah so I want George to is there it. with his top off you know and, that, yeah, and you're like not that. every day yeah, you're yeah. like not every day that yeah exactly. yeah I get it and so <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was every day that. I, I really like it I'll be honest <laughs> uh, you and every other 12 year old yeah. girl <laughs> Oh my god, I'm such a cougar, it's hell. Um, I know you are. No. Um, and yeah, that, and the rest is history. Mama. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that though. Mm. So, but you're enjoying it. Loving it. And I always say to people when they say like, do you actually genuinely enjoy this? Mm. There's no way I would work this hard if I didn't absolutely love it. Agreed. And I'm honestly working like every day and Kane can like attest to that. Like I'm honestly No, babe. Doing you the are the Chris Jenner of the... <laughs> but ba- like I love you it, work so. your ass off. Yeah. Like one, th- one thing about Joe Bags, he's gonna work. <laughs> we were really fucked in, <laughs> Where, right? in Austria in the room. We were like two bottles of my team and I remember we were sat there on the bed and you were like, if there's one thing you Oh my God. You will work. And I was Guys, like... Guys, <laughs> when I tell you I, we had a heart Felt it was the most, you know one of those just trash and moments. it also it never ended like people were knocking on my door like what are you guys doing yeah, but also you were telling me your life story I was going you know like when you look back and you think what shit were we don't talking don't remember a single thing aside that moment I was going one thing about you George Bags you're gonna work my, and you went I know and I said my name's Joe yeah it's all- <laughs> Am I still drunk off the wine? <laughs> and I said one thing about me, Ash, is my, my name is Joe. Joe. That's oh really funny. But yeah, that was That's hell. so funny. How did that happen? I was still thinking about the topless thing, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> they, on that brand trip, they should not... Oh, you're talking about that. I meant how do we... I thought you were saying how do we get in that room. And no. I was going to say, they should not have put us all in a hotel that was... I empty. agree. I, okay. We'll should, get on to that. Yeah, we will get on to that. No, should we just get on to it now? Fine. Guys, let's talk about Austria. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Joe just got back from Austria. We were on a brand trip. It <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. Hell, horror, chaos, iconicity. It was so good. I've never done anything like it in my life. Me neither. Like 
it was like a trip with you get every single loud person from the internet and put them in a hotel in Austria for four days and, and then say, push them it. down a slope in the snow after six tequilas imagine I've never drunk that much wine it was probably, must have been two three bottles a night it was hell it was hell <laughs> I must say that yeah yeah no wonder you're a jitterbug but also no it was so much fun though as in I, I, I don't think I've ever been on a trip that's Never. been that I've laughed that much on oh yeah like yeah. it was non-stop and even like you turning up to the husky ski walk absolutely steaming oh my god <laughs> you were so, twirling so, ba- so basically with the night before we'd got absolutely slithered <laughs> right <laughs> and we what, how many hours sleep did we have uh, it must have been about four or five less than good for you oh, I no, was you, about no, two that was the night when you had two I had about four or five and I felt good but why did I I have two. You stayed up with... No, that was the night you had your nose up Kiara's ass. <laughs> well, yes. Oh, God. Okay. We need to tell you this from the beginning. How did yeah. it even begin? Should we start on day one? Because I feel like we're going to... Yes. Day... So, yeah. So day one... No, day one was cute. Day one was very much... We're here for the brand. Yeah. We we're going to keep it cute and casual. <laughs> that lasted about 20 yeah, hours. Yeah, that lasted all of two hours. <laughs> uh, and we, we watched a screening of the Christmas film. Wholesome. Which was, yeah, very wholesome, very cute. And then I, we were all knackered as well. We'd been up from what? Oh, like 3 a.m.? Yeah, because yeah. we got picked up at 5 a.m. to the airport. Mm. Like, it was a lot. Everyone was on their last legs a little yeah, bit on yeah. that day. We got there and we were like, let's just have it be wholesome, let it mm. be cute, whatever. <laughs> Now, <laughs> the next day, did I don't even think no, anything. No, the first night, every, you're joking? no, the first night we got back from the screening, and we were like, "Why has this bar got smoke machines and lasers?" Yes. <laughs> so then everyone like had a few bevs. I put my Joe's iPod Nano playlist on, and it got like a little bit like yes, yeah, just a little bit party style. But then we all said we're tired, go to bed. No, and all it was was like a taster of what was to come. No, I was we fucked that night. What? That's, that's the night when <laughs> why I. Why does it keep thinking? Why does the no, bar just that keep thinking? that first thinking? night I was steaming. I left my bag downstairs. Everyone's messaging me going, where are you, Terrence? Because I left my passport in the bar. Where are you, Terrence? Yeah, because I was Terrence. <laughs> and I was like, and everyone was like, is your dad black? Like, why is your name Terrence? I was looking at my phone like, what is going on? <laughs> is your dad black? Where did that correlation I know, come in? I know, because apparently Terrence is like a very black man. No, it is. Terrence is, is very like middle-aged black man. Yeah. yeah, it is, it is. And then that's the night when, yeah, I ended up chatting everyone's ears off in their rooms and then went to bed. So I was hung over the, the following day the first ski day yes but we went up, up at the same time yeah because it, but because everyone had lost it the wig had cut the wigs had come out and when that happens it's just not it i knew one thing about you guys is there's always a bob there's always a bob <laughs> look behind you there's, there's <laughs> behind always you, right I go, you can't escape the bobs there's always a bob i'll tell you why there's always a bob no party is complete without cosplay i, I genuinely <laughs> genuinely believe that if you bring a bob as in a bob or a mustache either or it works the same yeah, yeah. if you just it's take, an icebreaker it is if you take one in your bag or in your clutch yeah. there was one night where i looked in my clutch i opened <laughs> Wait, I opened my clutch out to Jack, right? And there was just a Fenty lip gloss and a bob wig. And he literally went, it's going to be a good night. And I was like, of course it is. Because you can literally separate the lames from the icons. Yeah, yeah. The minute the lames, the lames from the icons. If yeah. you take the bob out and people are like, yeah, that's when they don't get it. I'm like, all right, leave. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Let the trash take itself yeah, out. Agreed. I'm like, well, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So the bobs came out that night. Yeah. And we were just like, do you know what? Yeah, I keep, so much keeps coming back to me. <laughs> I know. But we were just like, do you know what? We could send it to the moon tonight, but then it would be the first day and we can't. Yeah. We so can't. we just said every single other minute of every hour of that trip, we will. Yes, yeah. exactly. So we took ourselves to bed. For me, that was huge. Mm. I, I, was, I was sitting in my bed. You and might I was like, expect a Nobel Peace Prize. You're babe, bed, like, where is I was like... Green tea matcha, that's me right now. I'm like, I am that a yoga girl. retreat. I am. This is a retreat. So we took ourselves up to bed. Everyone stayed, I think, a bit longer. Yeah. Day two. What was day two? Day two was you going into the ski shop and being treated like Princess Diana. That was day two. Okay. Day two was, oh, Prosecco right. on tap. One thing about me in Austria, I'm going to clean up. <laughs> 
joke. You but love actually, Beyonce like, and Tao. I can't believe it. And I can only put it down to the fact that I don't think bra- a lot of brown girlies ski. No, I d- literally. <laughs> that, I, th- I honestly think that's it. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I, like skiing is not a black girl demographic. It's just not. No, it's, Obviously yeah. black girls do ski, but yeah. like, Generally, yeah, it's and you not. Look it's just not so incredible. Like full face, white on, of like, course, hooded, like fur hood. I was like, I'll be damned if I don't serve a look on the slopes. <laughs> you would have been fucked in an avalanche, though. Yes, mm. yeah, I would have. So thank God that, that didn't happen. It was just your head. When that blizzard hit, all I could see was just a flowing head. Yeah, it was. Of the yeah, I know it was bad. It was bad. But guys, I can't get over the treatment I got in Austria. This doesn't happen anywhere globally, by the way, as in like I go to every city in the world and think, oh, I'm serving. No one cares. (laughs) In Austria? In Austria, everyone gave a shit. And I was like, what? No, it was so fun. As in, I walked into the, what happened in that? um, The ski shop, you walked in to get your fit in there, like crack it open, Prosecco, putting your boots on for you. None of it, we didn't get that. It was so funny. The man went, you know the main guy at the desk? Yeah, yeah. So he went, and he so you get fitted right for your for your boots and your skis and all that. It's yeah. long, isn't it? It's a bit. It is. It's I've like got very blisters fatty. on my leg. Show your. He's got Guys, war I've boots. Got battle scars. Look at look. Yeah. Honestly, they fit them tight. I and don't that's think... on being CEO of Skiers the Skiers comment and tell me whether that's normal because I'm going to get everyone seasoned skier in the comments. Like, no! Enough! You let drop! <laughs> <laughs> that, that. That first day was that man. That, I, oh my God, God, not me getting sang in my eye. Let's Nagy. talk about that. Oh my God, I'm not even... I don't even believe his name. Fuck Nagy. <laughs> Fuck Nagy, I'm the Austrian slut. I'm sending for him. That man almost made me cry. When I'm hungover, I'm so tender. Like, and I've got a real thing with men in authority shouting in my face. I, in the army, I get it. I would just simply <laughs> also pass me. away. FaceTime you with I FaceTime <laughs> him at the top of mountain. No. And I was like, I can't do it. Like, I can't do this. Like, he's honestly screaming in my face. He was like, why are you here with the blue soap? You can't even stop. To the point where I was panicking so much, I forgot I had to put my skis back on because he's screaming at me. So he's like, you can't even put on skis. No. <laughs> So then by the time I got down the mountain after that, I thought, I'm not skiing anymore. Like, no. I can't, my confidence no, was not. You were, when we saw you, you were downtrodden and dishevelled. As in, it's so sad because he left us. <laughs> he left us bright, <laughs> bumptious, like literally a well-rounded man. <laughs> and he came back fucked. I got in that car, tears in my eyes. I said, I can't ever go he back. He said, I can't do that. To give you guys some context, basically, the group split up so there were people like me who were just there to serve a look yeah. and didn't know how to ski at all yeah. so we had to go to the nursery slopes yes right and then and then there's a middle path yeah there was like middle ground of yeah. you guys where like you know what you're doing yeah. you're not like seasoned it veteran. was me Chanel and Jack being like we've skied before but we need yeah. like a bit of confidence and they said yeah. let me give you the Austrian Winter Olympic coach yeah. with a <laughs> megaphone in hand they said you better work and I was <laughs> terrified and let him beat you with sticks until you get it right and he it was like snow plow I was like oh Oh, he was horrible. Which is hell, because by way of comparison, we had the be- we had this little instructor on the nursery was slopes Bruno? called Bruno. And Bruno was like, as in, I did nothing. I literally went down a slope that was about this, right? Yeah. In terms of incline. And he went, amazing, Ash. You're doing so wonderfully great. You are getting there. I was like, Bruno, look at me go. <laughs> we were just, do you know what though? That was like a, do you remember what I was saying? It was like a social experiment. Yeah, that's what that whole trip felt like yeah. also <laughs> Nagy wasn't even his name I thought it was an Austrian name it was like Austin or something but basically they call him Nagy and I'm like well now I get why they call you Nagy because you're a prick <laughs> Because you're a naggy prick. Because you're a naggy prick. Is that why? Yeah, is that what I'm assuming so? Oh, so they genuinely... So everyone is aware that he's a horrible, horrible man. <laughs> I don't understand. And then, and then they said at lunch, they said, you know what's going to cheer you up? Let's take you to Moose Work. That killed that. The, we just saw this side. Was that what the restaurant was called? Yeah, they dumped us in the middle of a town. We looked on Google Maps. It was 10-minute walk away in ski boots to this restaurant. And all we saw was a sign that said Moose Work. And obviously we just went, Moose! work yes you better most oh work. my god so yeah it was just it was very chaotic because we weren't all together at one no time. it was everyone was split apart yeah got like george clark pirouetting on the slope yeah so two of the people in our group were like unbelievable skiers <sighs> like i've never seen anything like as it as in it was mad 
madness. But then all their content was like, oh, you know, me not being able to ski. Yeah. I was like, shut it, shut it. <laughs> yeah, I saw them videos. Oh, first time skiing. I, yeah. thought, I saw you doing your thing. Yeah, literally. Yeah. But that, to, to be fair, that first day was really fun. Yeah, it was. And then the second was a spa night, wasn't it? No, wait, wait. You're forgetting how we ate dinner on that day. Is it not that day? Wait, when did that we... we had the fondue? Oh, oh my no, God. that was the first night they said we're going to do typical Austrian and literally put a full fat deep fryer in front of <laughs> oh with oil bubbling and just raw meats. And I said, I don't know if I'm comfortable no. cooking like scallops in hot oil. Guys, it was the weirdest thing. When I hit see fondue, yeah. I think Willy Wonka, Augustus Gloop, just chocolate so, and like a couple of strawberries. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's just like, ooh. Yeah. Like, I don't think... Yeah, I'll give bubbling you a cauldron. vat of vegetable oil and then raw meat. <laughs> and a bubbling cauldron. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. In, yeah. in like a bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. <laughs> witchy cauldron. And we were like, what is going on? I, I barely ate that night. That's how I got so drunk because they just kept topping up. Yes. And also they topped up at the table. So I thought I was just finishing a glass and I was done. And then next thing you know, I've had three bowls. Can we speak about that? Because I actually think that's low key a form of abuse. <laughs> you can't, as in the whole bottomless thing, but to not say it's bot a lot of to places not even do that. say like would you like a top up to just yes. go for it because also I think when you're chatting and drinking you don't even realise you've got no you idea see, I can't even walk to the toilet at one you've point. backed three bottles of wine and I think I'm on my first class what about I post that ad that night with you in the story and it was like thanks for built time <laughs> Like that was an ad. I was like, for that prom video, I was like, what is going on? I was steaming. Yeah, I don't think restaurants should do that. <laughs> it's a form of abuse. It is, it is, because then they do it in bougie places because yeah. it's obviously like, you're, play, you're paying the big bucks, we're going to keep topping that wine yeah. up, but you don't see it happening. No. Because I remember at one point, I'm looking at you, we're having, <laughs> we've been chatting for time, and you went, oi, <laughs> how many of these have we had? I yeah. said, your guess is as good as mine. No, that was, we, we had one dinner and it was me, Ash, and Mel Milan, who's absolutely amazing, like oh Chiara. God, and yeah. at one point I thought, put a mic in front of us and this is a podcast. Yes. It was getting deep. There were laughs. There was like... Crying, tears. There was, there was full on tears. I thought, I can't take this seriously. No. <laughs> you, that's the wine, mama. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I at one point I had to break the combo when the tears started and just went, that's the wine, mama. Oh, because our mate was talking about something really sincere, actually. This no, is how I know she I was talking had. about like her journal entry from her boyfriend and then she just got all teary and she was like, he just loves me so much and asked me. <laughs> you cold-hearted bitch. I know. You sat there, looked up, and you went, that's the wine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I definitely had about six bottles at that point. Then. Oh. I don't know what. When an hour later, you uh, let your coochie breathe in your bikini by the pole, and I thought this is a spa. You, your green tea, <laughs> your green tea era went fully out the window. What? That's the night that we did the spa. Yeah, it was. Oh my god! So much. You know when like so much happens in such a short space of time that I literally left that trip, all... got on the got on the coach and thought like, well, number one, I was still drunk, and number yeah. two, I thought, how did that even happen? But there's guys, there's so much more because <laughs> <laughs> this is just a small portion. This of it. is just a tiny portion. We did that day when um we missed out. We got Krampus. Right. Let's talk about Krampus. Let's talk about Krampus. <laughs> Krampusy. Krampus is from... the most bizarre okay, tradition. Okay, but, but what I don't even get what the tradition is because you were all explaining it to me and I was like, I don't understand really. So they're in like local tradition. In local traditions in Austria, yeah. other place in Europe, they have like the evil Santa, which is Krampus, and he like basically beats children when they're naughty. That's so, like, so good. So like, and there's a film called Krampus, and he like kills everyone. It's, right. it's actually one of my favorite Christmas films. So there's a film called Krampus. yeah, there's a film called Krampus. It's, it's really good. It's really good. You and what? It. It's just it's just a horror a, film just about a Christmas. Child beer. That's he, mad. He like murders people. Like it's crazy. So then, <laughs> we, right? So we in the film that we. <laughs> Let their coochie breathe. In it. Um, so this one day a year in this Austrian town that we were in, these Krampuses, Krampi? I don't know. The oh, no, not the plural. The plural being Krampi. The, the Krampi. Um, not to be mistaken the for cream de, pie. Um, the creme de la creme. <laughs> they, they hit the street dressed up as Krampus, but we were in the shop because we went there to promote a film and in the film there was a Krampus and we all thought it was bollocks. We all yeah. saw, I was, I've seen the film, but I didn't think it was real. Yes, yes, yes. So then we're in the ski shop, we're taking off our boots, we're like, we're so excited to hit the town tonight and the guy was like so serious. I've got a video. He's like, don't go on the streets tonight. 
<laughs> Ash is like, what are you, I'm made for this. Yeah, 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 me. But I'm made for the streets. <laughs> <laughs> how do I, how do I go on? <laughs> and then we were like, why? And he said, because they dress up as Krampus, they come up to you, they beat you with sticks, but they don't hold back so people have bruises, there's people being knocked out. I'm sat there and I'm thinking, this is bollocks. And he's like, no, seriously. I, and I thought that you all were like, ha ha, like funny we tradition. And then they went... No, no, guys. Yeah. And we were like, wait, what? It was what? giving a spooky island. Yeah, like, well, as in like, do. all he needed was a little torch under here or like some sort of lantern. He was like, no, no, guys, listen. He was like, I'm being serious. He went, if you film then, if you film them, yeah, didn't yeah. he? He went, if you film them, you're finished. And we were like, what the hell? Proof of content creators going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how long can we film them for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, oh, uh, we don't believe God. it. We all come down, they're like, dress up for this meal, wasn't it? It was like this gorgeous yes. hotel. They're like, dressed to the nines. You looked incredible. <laughs> and we come downstairs and I can hear some faint screams in the background and they're like, there's a Krampus and it's like a novelty. Like, it's one in the street. Anyway, guys, I literally got it on video. When I tell you I think this we'll, we'll man, insert the clip because yeah, people need to see it the TikTok right? yeah yeah lord knows he runs at us with like a, a bat a right? bat running full speed in this black outfit with these horns and I'm thinking I'm thinking it's like Halloween he won't come in the house this Krampus uh, Krampi uh, comes into the Krampi. fucking hotel yes it was George Clark compared it to an active shooting situation <laughs> oh my god <laughs> to the point where people are behind the bar I'm out yeah. the back in the staff I'm in the storeroom yeah you are in the store <laughs> guys by the way I <laughs> I'm mid face beat. I'm contouring. Obviously, I'm late. Black time. All, all I hear is anarchy outside. I'm hearing, <laughs> and I'm like this. It was honestly, if you could have seen like a, a dual screen, it was so funny. I'm hearing you guys outside my door yeah. going, "Crampus!" I'm going like this. <laughs> and I'm like, Let that coochie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> and you were all. I didn't even see the whole massacre that no. happened because I was just getting ready. That was. At, and then when we're on the coach on the way to the mill, we're all just trying to get over what happened. People being beaten yes. with sticks, and then we see them all in the road. Oh my god! And they're like this, like mm, it's terrifying. Mm, on, on the um, like on our minibus. Yeah, yeah. On our <laughs> minibus, they are. I just don't understand that tradition though. And how is it legal? But also, <laughs> it's kind of hot. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but also... Did somebody say Krampus? <laughs> <laughs> So then also, Jack Remington decided that the entire meal, the uh, man had verbal diarrhea and yeah. tried to put the word... It's like someone gave him a secret challenge, put Krampus into every conversation yes. for the next hour and a half. Yeah. All we so could the, the say menu was Krampus. With Krampus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like... We were... What did you say? Was it Kram... It was like... Were you... What? It's like, Krampus. were you silenced? Or were, were you... He was oh, like, were you Krampus? Or were you Krampus? Krampus we were like... It was a lot. <laughs> it was, it was, yeah. And also, we were at an extremely bougie restaurant that... That was not made for us. It was not made for us. Or people like us. No. Or anyone that wasn't on a very small, intimate date. Yeah, yeah. No, when I tell you it was hell to the point where these men came up to us at the end and were like, you seem like fun. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> but could not, but one thing... Do you thing, remember that? One thing, they were both called Max. One thing about the two Maxes, they could not command a table. No, no, no. They, they had couldn't. no public speaking they couldn't. experience. It was really bad. It was like <laughs> flirting, but like, do you remember? Because they were in a private room. Yeah. And we had to get to go to their private room yeah. to get outside. They you were an escort at one point. Wait, it was pissing me off, actually. They thought I was a brass. No, it was terrible. Because they were like, <laughs> as in, not that there's anything wrong. We love sex workers. Yeah, but we do. I am not one and not on this trip yeah. and not with those men, right? <laughs> so I was literally like, we walked in and I said, oh, excuse me, can we walk through your room? Like, we feel like this yeah. is a bit inappropriate. You're literally like having a dinner, but we want to go outside. Mm. And he went, honestly, I don't know. Can you? <laughs> I went, I don't know. You tell me, you tell me, bro. <laughs> can I go outside? <laughs> it depends. <laughs> What are you offering? Fucking hell! No, literally, like it was that bad. I was like, oh <coughs> no! I knew what I, I said. You really thought you ate? No, the tone was and, poor. And you didn't. And then they come to the table. One of them is wearing some horrific salmon trousers. Oh, to yeah. which Jack goes, "Come on, salmon trousers! Let's get sickening." <laughs> well, by this point, we'd all had two bottles of wine. I'd lost it. We were absolutely. He said. In he said to the man. 
What do you say? Bend that ass over. Let that salmon breathe. Let that salmon breathe. Well, as it basically, we don't deserve nice things. <laughs> we don't deserve to no. go anywhere nice. No, never. Because it's just, it's just McDonald's or nothing for us. Yeah. I think at this stage. And also that night, we got taken up this mountain, and it was all icy. There was like chains on the the, the coach tires, and oh, it was really yes. scary. And I started to feel a bit sick because you could see the drop in the yeah, tar. Yeah, that was actually on the way back from oh. there. We were, it was like this party bus. I've never seen it. Poor Charlie Marlowe. That woman was in hell. She was, had a lem sip in hand. Oh, was she And she got the gay singing 212 in her ear. <laughs> she could not breathe. I sent a video to Kane. He was like, I want to come cuddle her. Oh, she, bless her. She was poorly. She was. So she was yeah, she was. And there's the two video of you like stood up back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jack was upside down on the minibus upside at one point. Upside down, shaking his ass in the air. It, it was hellish. Meanwhile, I don't know how much we can say on this, but meanwhile, Max is organising to fly a lady out to Austria that we met in a box at the O2. <laughs> there's, there's no context to this aside. At all. Mrs. Outrageous yes. was going to fly, <laughs> sent us her flight ticket and passport to come. When I tell you by this stage, we'd, we'd, we'd got to a new level of feral that I can't really explain. As in, we were basically trying to <laughs> recruit new like, people I've to come been on drunk the trip. Before, but I've never wanted to fly a 50 year old woman out to Austin. No, no. And you said, get your flight tickets ready. Yeah. Um, oh and God. she said, what's the address of the hotel? And he just put the name, Austria, come now. It was that. But, but we were doing that all night. Everything had no context. Me with barman. Got <laughs> and there was this guy <laughs> at the bar, right? He was good looking. He was cute, wasn't he? He was a lovely looking, lovely looking man. He was cute, quite, quite timid, obviously. Kane's like. Yeah. <laughs> Kane. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay cute guy mm -hmm. like a little sweet one not anything like to write home about yeah, yeah. he was cute not too bold no obviously he's Leonardo DiCaprio after I've had 30 mm. glasses of wine yeah I came back We. this is when the party was really like oh yeah is this when we sent it that night yeah what? this is when we got back and it just went off to the this is the night of the pair to the point where we walk in as well and we're with Kiara King on this trip and Party with the Monster is playing her song as yeah. we walk into the hotel no context. No. no one told her to play it. No. I walked in, I thought, what the fuck? What's going on? Nothing had context. No at this context. Point. You're the queen of no context. I am, because I'll tell you why. <laughs> so, I am in this mood where I'm like, have you ever had this when you're out? When you want to flirt, but you're also just there for the streets. So you want to be with your mates and partying and shaking yeah. it, but you also want to be cute. You're like an enigma. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I wanted to do both, but I couldn't possibly do both. There was too much going yeah. on. Like Max is over there with a wig on. Like I'm like, I want to be there, but I also want to be here. Yeah, of course. At the bar, kind of having a bit of a flirt. Yeah. So <laughs> cut to, I am chatting to this bar man, giving him no zero context. So I said to him, Meet me in my room. <laughs> like as in, where? What hotel? Where? Where? He's going, okay. He went, where? You'll know. <laughs> You'll know. Like You'll a smoke know. signal will come up at midnight. Like, like I haven't given him a time, date, place, coordinates, nothing. <laughs> I've given him nothing. You said, and we were just like, meet me there. I said, just meet me. I said, you'll know. <laughs> of course he won't When know. the time is right, you'll feel it in your heart. No, you and know. that was, uh, and we were dying. You did it the whole trip. The whole night. Then we were like taking shots together and like having a flirt, whatever. He then goes, I'm going to get told off if I keep doing this with you guys. <laughs> on camera because I'm on camera now like I'm working I went alright well where aren't the cameras he went in the store cupboard <laughs> bear in mind I'm now with the bartender in the store cupboard having cigarettes and doing tequila shots he was smoking cigarettes in the store cupboard that but just like just like lighting it up I in the can't store say cupboard. The C word, but you know what I want to say. And the store, bear in mind, the store cupboard is about this big. So we are like this. You're hot boxing the we are hot boxing You're the store tequila straight in. Like this. And I'm going, meet me in my room. And nothing. I can't. It was so funny. Bear in mind, cut to the guy actually did end up knowing where my room was. Yeah. Knocking the door at 5 a.m. I'm gone. I'm <laughs> I was and, in, I may as well have been in A&E by and, this point. And then the second night, after that all happened, you go downstairs to the receptionist, who's a different man, but <laughs> equally a cute man. She goes up, she's like, 
can we get any food? And he's like, it's 5 a.m., like everything's closed. We're in a literal valley in the Austrian. Yeah. Like, you're, the only thing you've got to eat is some guinea fowl in the fucking right. packing and you head have, off, right? And, yeah, and you have to catch it yourself Literally. in the dead of the night. Yeah, so you're like, okay then, how about some company? <laughs> 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 the man is like, <laughs> it's like this. so then you went back to food didn't you and he went hold on I, I went back to food because I thought I'm doing too much yeah. I did too much I thought I'm doing too much so then I went any just sweets or anything <laughs> the man goes to the fruit bowl you're gonna die pulls out a pear and just hands it to Ash. So this is 5am. I'm in my stripper boots in Austria with a pear in my hand. Walking up like a real housewife up and the stairs. And no man. Because all I've said to all of them is, meet me in my room. I would know it. And, and you've just got a pear to show for it. And I just came up the stairs like this. You lot were falling apart. Him and Max could not believe what was going no, on. No, it was honestly, I've never seen anything like it and I never it, will again. No. <laughs> Genuinely the best trip ever. And then ever, to though. top the, the cherry on top of the, the chaotic trifle. Yeah. Because this story's got layers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, is that as our coach pulls away, the barman is stood on the corner. No, guys. With phone in hand, vaping, waiting for his goodbye kiss from Ash. He wanted to as say the goodbye. Coach pulls, because he said we didn't. We, 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 guys, no, no, no. I went, when I tell you, we fell apart on that. And then coach. he sends you a text, and he, what does he say? And don't, he says, "Don't cry over spilled milk." Yeah, <laughs> that he basically was sending me texts. I didn't. We were so. You done. were late, babe. As yeah, well, of course I was late. Of course I was late. We were done that morning. They said, "Ash, you need to get on the coach." Yeah, we had had like all of two hours sleep. Yeah. We were done. We were rotten to the core at this point. Yeah. We just needed to get home. They were like, get on the coach. Oh, we had to get that flight. Oh, we had to. We got Alice in the back with a pulled back. We had oh to go. Oh my God, yeah. People were injured. <laughs> like, everyone was done. <laughs> we get on the coach. They're like, guys, come on. We've got to get to the airport. Yeah. The boys go, Ash, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Barman is standing outside to wave you goodbye. We felt apart. We have, we've just collapsed. My legs are in tatters. We're in tatters. Uh, they go, you've got to say, just do something, like wave. To the point where we thought this coach was like, no, it's not. It's just yeah. a bunch of gays going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> everyone's taking photos. Ash has hit the day. We thought it was a blacked out coach and it wasn't. So all they we're must have seen yeah, was, we're hitting the floor. It's all gays like, ah! <laughs> oh my god, it was hell. This is actually you're not reliving it is so much funnier. It's <laughs> killing me. In the moment it was And we just fell apart. I said I can't possibly yeah. after saying nothing but meet me in my room. I can't say bye to this man. What am I going to say? My room was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just said it. It was 205. <laughs> I was like, what do I say? Oh, no. So I literally just went, I, I, I just fell to the floor. I didn't even wave. And bless him. And they've got a picture of this man. He's got a vape in hand, phone there. And he's just looking at his phone as we're all collapsing. A vape in hand, his everyday clothes on, because I've only seen him his in his bar man clothes. clothes. You saw him in his civvies. Yeah, in his civvies. <laughs> it was like non-school uniform day. I was like, oh, bless him. <laughs> vape phone texting me being like can I say goodbye to you Fräulein <laughs> <laughs> and you said no Fräulein and I said nothing the time has gone yeah I said the time has gone and I said I'm really sorry we had to go got, it was actually very poetic it was got a, got a flight to catch he said don't cry over spilt milk you will be returning anyway <laughs> yeah lord no. you will be back there I have to you go you take back. the show on tour straight to that oh in Austria. my god first destination <laughs> Austria, sell out. <laughs> sell out, no. Do you imagine, like, you <laughs> London, Birmingham, Leeds, Austria. Austria. <laughs> and it's just all men. And it will be. This Krampus on the mat. <laughs> Beating me with sticks. I can't. It was just. If you're lucky. Um, it, it was, yeah. That oh. just was a lot to debrief. And it's so hard with no context to people. Yes. Just reliving that. Okay, guys. The love line is now open and I am ready for your calls. I want you to send in chaotic voice notes of your dating stories, your love life woes, all of it. The juicier, the better, the more chaotic, the better. Joe, we're doing love line. Okay, so I have to give people advice. Yeah, are you good at advice? Like, not one bit. No? No, I'm Why? very much like, I just, I just go with, I don't skirt around. I'm not like a sugar coater. Okay. I'm like, if someone said to me, like, I'm really not getting on with my mum, I would say, hire a Krampus. 
to and, beat and her ass. Beat her down. It would be like I wouldn't be able to do it. Like fine. Uh, we've tried advice on our pod. Oh, Fucked it just it doesn't time. work. It's giving me the therapy. Yeah, I just like. Yeah. And this pod spent. <laughs> <laughs> and, this, and this pod <laughs> sponsored by BetterHelp. That's yeah, literally me. That's that. literally me every podcast. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm shit. And Kane's really good at giving advice. So I kind of just let him do that portion of Fine. it. Fine. Yeah, but that's why you're yin and yang. Yin and that's yang. That's why that. <gasps> what is going on with the set? Hello, love line. This is so cool. Hello. Hello. Grampus. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Grampus. Hi, girl. So I was in basic training when I was younger. Met this boy. He was like, should we go on holidays? Yeah, great. What's his accent? 17. I love it. First one, gone on holidays. Virgin, 17. Got, on, got to the airport. His two friends rock up. So I thought, this is fucking weird. I went on holidays with three men. I love her. We had their own rooms. She's whales. From what? She's Obviously, whales. I was a virgin. Never had sex before. Don't think I'd have done anything with a boy before. Oh. Woke up after like, the second night. Literally, it was a massacre of Vaseline. Like the biggest tub of Vaseline you can have. Imagine that. Lost my virginity. It was in every hole known to man. He got up. I think he fractured his ankle. Yeah, I know he was on crutches for like the whole fucking week. He couldn't walk properly because he was swollen. He was a prick anyway, so he deserved it really. But yeah, like the Vaseline, it was fucking amperings of the wall. It was like we'd knock the fucking floor. I don't know what he had done, where he had put his fucking penis. But I don't think it was in me. I think it was everywhere but me. <laughs> but then his two friends, the last day we were there, they dared each other to shit on the hotel bed. One of the boys shit on the bed, wrapped the sheets up and put them in the corner. Got to the airport and I was like, what have we got in your bag? He'd only brought the hotel sheets with him, was shit in, to like fucking discard in the fucking airport. It was the most <laughs> day I've ever fucking been on. That? Sorry, what? What is what, going what, on? What advice do you want from that? Like... <laughs> <laughs> she is an icon. As in, she really said, and that's just a Monday morning. <laughs> like that. Is just... It was so casual. The Vaseline. It was I don't so. Understand. But wait, hang on, hang on. Well, first of all, she said all up the walls, and my mental image is him just putting his knob in the, in the Vaseline and just doing it. Come on, Van Gogh. He said, we're going to paint the town red. <laughs> I'm so confused by it. Oh, why shit on the sheets? That is a dare. I don't know. What's funny about no, that? No, no, but that's only funny. Okay, it's not funny. It's fucking me. You know them ones where they're like, you had to be there? And I'm like, well, even if I wasn't even, there. Even, yeah, like, that's, I, it's way worse if I'm there. Did she say every hole? Yeah, no, <laughs> she said, no. Yeah, she said there was, yeah, she did say every hole. So like the, she said Vaseline in every hole. So I'm a, what? what? <laughs> Mouth puss bum? Like, what, like every, what yeah, other yeah. hole? Just get her ears cleaned up. <laughs> you defo. <laughs> that is honestly... I'm not being funny. There's Vaseline on the walls. There's Vaseline in your ears. If, if there's Vaseline on the walls, that's when you know you've got a problem. Also, like, since when was Vaseline a substitute for lube? I was going to say that. Why Vaseline? Since when? Petroleum jelly? Yeah. That's like, like not... The government name. The government name. <laughs> the full government The government name. Petroleum jelly. <laughs> Honestly. That's not okay. The shit thing also, it's just, is it, that, that has so many layers. That has so many layers. Petroleum jelly in itself was, was enough of a story. That's the name of autobiography. Definitely. Petroleum jelly and shit sheets. Yeah, that's my drag name. <laughs> shit sheets is my prison name. <laughs> <laughs> but like oh. that was enough of a story and then yeah. the shit was like a whole whole other thing that needs to be unpacked <laughs> that does need to be literally <laughs> yeah. but like why there's so many other opportunities on the way to the airport to discard why do you have to wait to security to be like oh yeah there's diarrhea sheets in my bag even if you're like a, an abomination to mankind and think mm. that that's funny yeah. it's only funny if you shit and leave the sheets to yeah. leave the shit like sheets because it's like haha like ha ah, shit sheets it's, it's still not for me. <laughs> me, like, <laughs> me like, where is the jump? Yeah, you. Where's the punchline? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> awful. But you but took them with it. you. Yeah. I'm glad she got that dick. Um, did she? I don't know. Well, the she, walls she got, got, got it. Slip. The wall, yeah. Um, Mama, I don't know what to say. You <laughs> Never. The only person I know that uses like petroleum jelly is George Bags on his lips. <laughs> yeah, ah, that, is, <laughs> that is the last person no, I was expecting like, you to say. Like, as in, like, George Bags uses petroleum jelly. Vaseline by his bed. Maybe he's doing the same. 
He he liked, baby, he was George. <laughs> He wears a big retainer at night, like rugby style, so he has to like Vaseline his lips up so they don't... Oh, so they don't get all horrible and coarse. I'm surprised. Do you know, do you know what? And that's on having a gay brother. Yeah, literally. Because anybody else would have let them crack up and he just said, not tonight. I said, no. You are petroleum, petroleum jelly. jelly <laughs> um, yeah, hell. Yeah, I don't know. Girlie, do better, pick better. I don't know what to say. I that think it's is a good so funny. But I will stand by the first time has to be a funny story because like it's never going to be good. Yes, that's true. Mm. I'd rather a story than like, oh, we made love into the night. Oh, Who like, cares? Like, like, <laughs> like George. Yeah. I made love in Ibiza. Yeah. I love see my you, girlfriend. See you. Good for you, girl. I don't care. <laughs> she rocked my world. I'm like, I was dressed as a clown. In it. Yeah. Yeah. And and do fun. you know what? Good for you, girl. Good for you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining us on another chaotic episode of Antics with Ash. Joe, I love you, baby. I love you so Mwah. much. I uh, want to kiss you on your Krampus. Oh, please, mama. After dark. <laughs> um, like, comment, subscribe if you're watching. Tell your mum, tell your dad, tell your nan. Love me, lips me. And if you're listening on Spotify, make sure to give it a five-star review. Eee! Bye! Bye, Krampus! Bye!